Well, I just got home five minutes ago. I was at one of the top sections of Laguna today, the rich section, <laughs> rich part of town. Um, thinking, I'll just see, let's just try it out, let's just see how this goes. Um, because usually the higher in the hills you are, the less, <laughs> less success you have. I actually posted some pretty good numbers today. It was some, one of my best days, actually. Knocked on 84 doors. I got um, about 50% of the people who opened the door to me uh, did sign. And um, I, I posted some pretty solid numbers. I think I actually was the winner today. I think I had the highest numbers today because it was... It's been getting, the last couple of nights in a row, it's getting really foggy at night. It's hard to see. It's really hard to drive those windy roads, too. Um, I had on a Reverend Horton Heat shirt today. And uh, one of the guys opened the door for me. And he's like, I love Reverend Horton Heat. You're off to a great start. I'm like, that's great. Let me tell you about giving voters the opportunity to vote on future hotel development and, and renovation. And he said, nope. And he slammed the door in my face. It's like, done. Dude, rockabillies, come on now. Don't you care about workers' rights? Don't you care about workers? Come on now. Yeah, the, the rockabilly scene does seem to have a lot of conservatives in it. But the musicians themselves tend to be a little bit more liberal. Just ask Deke Dickerson. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was a good day. I, I stayed pretty confined at the top there. I did take a picture of the view. It was beautiful. I think it actually overlooks, um, no, it couldn't. I was going to say it, it might have been Aliso Creek, but I don't think it could unless I got completely turned around. Maybe, but I think it was another canyon. I don't know which canyon it was. It might have been Aliso Creek if I got totally turned around, but I don't think it was. Um... I was overlooking some canyon, but I think we were too far away from Laguna Canyon for it to be that. I think we were way too far away from that for it to be Laguna Canyon. I did get a picture, though. So, yeah, it was a good, a good day of knocking doors. I got a lot of signatures. Um, now I'm going to have the weekend in Palm Springs. And um, then if I can, I might do a half day on Monday if I get back in time. Otherwise, I resume on Tuesday. I did get, oh, when I smashed my ankle the other day, I did get a bruise on my ankle. I saw it. In fact, I might be able to, let me see if I can, I did get a gnarly little bruise on my ankle. Let's see if I can get my, I have slipper shoes on. I was wearing, I've been, the last couple of times I've been walking, I've been wearing slipper shoes and they're so comfy. They're so comfy. Let's see if it's still there. Oh yeah, it's there. It's there. You can see it right there on the ankle. It hurts. It hurts, you guys. Yeah, I still haven't put all my lighting away. I don't think I really need to as long as it's not visible. And it's not plugged in, so it's not, like, lighting up. Uh, all right. That's my recap for day 12. Day 12 went well for me. I think it was hard for the rest of the team. They were having a hard time getting signatures. But I think I might have hit an area that wasn't getting hit regularly. Because we all kind of have the same thought in our head that the further up the hill you go, the less likely you are to get signatures. But I scored. <laughs> scored. It's great territory. I did really good. Um, anyway, I'll be back at it next week. And if we hit the number, then I'll be on to an... Um, help with another assignment. We've got another assignment coming up to you. Another effort in a different part of town. Different town, shall we say. Different county, shall we say. There's another effort going on. So I will probably get drafted into that immediately after this one. Yay! Okay. Um, so that's my day 12 recap.